Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Civil Construction and Tutor and in this video we will be unboxing and reviewing Dell 5593 i5 10 Gen as per the civil engineering purposes. In the box we have one unit of laptop, the colors available are platinum silver and deep midnight blue. So this is the platinum silver color. The laptop weighs about 1.83 kg. In addition to the laptop we get a charging plug and a charging adapter. We also get safety guides and user manuals. So simply connect the charging adapter and the plug. When the charger is plugged in, the LED near the charging point blinks which is the indication of the laptop being charged. So now let's turn on the laptop. Simply press the power button one. The laptop come with a screen of 15.6 inch full HD display with anti-glare LED backlight. The laptop takes about 4 seconds for booting process. Talking about the processor, the laptop offers a various options but for now we have a 10 gen i5 processor and is supported by NVIDIA MX230 4GB graphics card which should be sufficient for civil engineering softwares like AutoCAD, SAP, ETAPS and SketchUp. The size of RAM also comes with a lot of options but considering the latest version of the civil engineering softwares like AutoCAD, ETAPS, they require at least 8GB of RAM that is the basic requirement so it is better to go with the at least 8GB RAM. The laptop comes with various options of hard disk as well uh, but as I am using this laptop for my office work so I have preferred SSD over SDD as I have to store a less, lesser file than that I have to store in my personal laptop and the performance of SSD is much more better than SDD so I think it is preferable to go with SSD uh, considering the performance of the laptop talking about port we have charging point at first followed by type C USB port 1 HDMI port 1 RJ45 port 2 USB cable port 3.5 mm combined headphone and mic jack on the other side we have lock 1 usb 2.0 port and finally a memory slot that is sd card reader the laptop is supported by two hinges on either side and they are quite smooth so this should be fine i think so i found that the keyboard of this laptop is quite user friendly as it is accompanied by extra numeric keypad so it becomes much more easier to enter data in autocad or etabs so i found that quite helpful and also the keyboard is spill resistant so that adds a plus point to the keyboard of this laptop. The touchpad of this laptop is quite good and sensitive but for using civil engineering softwares like SAP, ETABS, AutoCAD or even uh, SketchUp I think external mouse will be much more efficient. So you can see complete information of the laptop by running dxdx from the run command so here you can see. So now let's check this laptop with some software that we use so starting with ETABS. Let me open it. So I'm using the latest version of ETABS that is ETABS 19. And let me open one of the files. Click this. So now let's zoom in and zoom out and rotate the view quite smooth I guess and span and now run okay. unlock first 
The graphics may depend upon the uh, graphics mode you have selected on the each apps. Either it is DirectX or standard graphics. Okay. So the we have already model has been analyzed. It's 3D. Now start animation. Okay. So the this animation is for the displacement on the displacement due to the dead load. So it is quite smooth. Now let us see with this app. Okay. Let me open one of the SAP file, and this is also the latest version of SAP that is version 22. So I am trying to check whether the latest version are uh, suitable or not with this laptop. Okay, so this is one of our models that I have done in. Sap. So let me run this. The rate of analysis will depend upon the size of the file and the uh, number of modes. That is, I, that is the thing I think you should know. So this quite okay. Let us see with the displacement. Or you can say animation. So let us toggle first. So it is quite smooth. Okay, now we'll start animation. So this is the displacement and the dead load. So it is also quite okay. Now finally we'll do with the AutoCAD. And I will be using AutoCAD 3D to check whether it is compatible with the laptop or not. AutoCAD 2021 so let us open one of the AutoCAD 3D drawing okay, let me open this file. and again we will toggle and pan And it is quite smooth. Okay, let me zoom in and zoom out. So I checked this laptop with three of the softwares that I use frequently, and those softwares have been graphics dedicated and worked pretty well in this laptop, considering that those softwares were of the latest version. And that was a launch I should give to this laptop. I think this laptop is quite up to the mark that we need as a civil engineer and considering the price and the features i get with this laptop i think it is uh, quite logical to make an statement that this laptop is quite worthy for civil engineers considering the price and the features i get so that's my take on this laptop uh, i hope we help you to choose whether this laptop is suitable for you or not and if it did help do like and subscribe thank you Jenna.